My name is Ginger Ambler, and I'm Vice President for Student Affairs at William & Mary. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this first ever virtual evening of excellence. While this pandemic has separated us physically from one another, it is important now more than ever to celebrate the many ways in which members of the William & Mary tribe have, have distinguished themselves through their scholarship, their leadership, their creativity, their service to others, their dedication to a cause, their living example. Those whom we recognize in this program represent excellence broadly defined and deeply valued. Above all, each of you has had a profound effect on William and Mary and who we are and are yet becoming as a university. Author and theologian Frederick Beekner once wrote, the life I touch for good or ill will touch another life and that in turn another, until who knows where the trembling stops or in what far place my touch may be felt. Thank you for touching the life of this beloved community and of unknown communities beyond, where reverberations of your passions and your talents will continue to be felt. We come together now to celebrate you. The Office of Community Engagement is pleased to recognize Anna Rader, with a Tradition of Service Award. Anna is an exemplar of active citizenship with a deep commitment to justice, reflection, and collaborative action for change. With a passion for anti-trafficking work, Anna has found multiple channels of engagement at William & Mary, including Branch Out, Baptist Campus Ministries, and Heart. Anna has a knack for empowering others to make a difference through her honesty, care, and compassionate listening. Because of this, and her tendency to ask, why not, when faced with a new opportunity, Anna has led many important community initiatives. Throughout, she has remained committed to her own active citizen development, engaging in personal reflection and seeking guidance from others. Community defines Anna's sense of work, purpose, and self, and community is strengthened because of her passion, commitment, and care. Congratulations, Anna. Hi, I'm Kelly Crace. I'm the Associate Vice President for Health and Wellness. And tonight I'm very pleased to announce the recipients of the Flourishing Award. The Flourishing Award really represents those people on our campus that are very intentional about holding the ideals and truly exemplify the ideals of flourishing and resilience. In this very relentless world of pace and uncertainty and constant change and constant noise, we really need those role models to remind us of the importance of pausing and being mindful and, and engaging every day with meaning and purpose. Each year we give an award to a student, a staff member, and an academic faculty member who truly exemplify what flourishing and resilience look like on our campus. This evening, I'm very pleased to uh, offer the award to our student who is Maddie Miller. Madison Miller, who we know as Maddie, is a person that has truly moved the needle on our campus in terms of what it looks like to really engage in a culture of wellness from a student's perspective. Maddie has been very intentional, both at a personal level and a professional level, at truly thinking about the concepts of flourishing, learning them, understanding them, and practicing them. She has taken that practice into her work as a wellness ambassador and was one of our leaders in the wellness ambassador program. And she really exemplified the person that took these notions of being a wellness ambassador to heart. It wasn't only just maintaining the operations of the building and not only just um, developing programming for wellness, but it was in her narrative on campus and how she lived her life that sent the message of what wellness really looks like. And so congratulations, Maddie, on this wonderful award that really honors just how you have enhanced our community. To be honest, all three of these recipients this year really moved the needle on our campus culture around wellness. I remember several years ago having a conversation with a very dear colleague, an academic faculty colleague, around what were we going to do with these physical activity courses that were going to go by the wayside. And her and I together kind of had this idea of talking about wellness courses. 
and how to maybe um, expand our vision and thought around what these, these physical activity courses could grow and evolve into. And she just hit the ground running. And despite her, her tremendously busy role as Dean of Undergraduate Studies, and she had been a chair of psychological sciences and now is a professor of psychological sciences, despite her relentless activity in her role, um, she was so thoughtful about how do we systemically create the wellness application courses and possibly develop a wellness minor, which, was, which went into existence this year. She has been a true partner and a true colleague that I have learned so much from about how do we, how do we think of wellness more broadly and more systemically. And yet she is also a very big champion on how to practice wellness on a, on a daily basis. So our faculty um, recipient this year is Janice Zeman. Congratulations, Janice. Lastly, uh, our staff recipient for this year is someone who is also one of those needle movers. Um, she has probably single-handedly done more to have us think as employees on this campus community, us think of employees around wellness initiatives. From the development of the Supervisors Institute to the development of these ongoing crucial conversations around communication and wellness and conflict management, how do we be our best selves? That, was, that has always been her mantra, is how do we be our best selves? Her background and her doctorate in areas of leadership and training um, brings a level of leadership here that is unparalleled. In this past year, especially through all of the changes that we have been through, including the change in leadership and human resources, she has been the mainstay and the constant and that strong advocate and champion for how do we continue to grow our community into a deeper state of wellness and how do we grow the confidence among our employees to be able to be their best selves. This year, our staff recipient is Babs Binkson. So congratulations, Babs. So well-deserved among Maddie and Janice and, and Babs. I'm so proud and admiring uh, to be able to call you our colleague. Thank you. Hello, I'm Eric Margiata, Director of Student Unions and Engagement. I am so proud to share with you that Clara Poteet is this year's recipient of the Knowlton Award. This award honors the former Director of Student Unions for his 35 plus years of dedicated service to William & Mary. The award is given for a paid or non-paid student staff member of student unions and engagement who demonstrates an exceptional commitment to excellence and service to student unions and engagement and to the campus community, including proven leadership capabilities in working with peers and staff, self-motivation, and commitment to supporting an inclusive student unions and engagement community. Clara has served as a student supervisor for our games area, Union Central. I find Clara to be warm, friendly, and committed to the development of her staff. Clara was able to advocate for the interests and needs of the students who work at the UC while serving as part of the leadership group for our student employment program. Her nominator said it best, Clara was the perfect leader for Union Central because of her unrelenting positive attitude and her exceptional customer service skills. She always made absolutely sure that you were having a fun time at the place on campus where fun is the main goal. Clara is a true rock star and SUE has been happy to have her. I couldn't agree more. Congratulations, Clara. Greetings, William and Mary Tribe. I'm Maggie Evans, Associate Vice President of Student Affairs for Campus Living. It is my honor to present the National Residence Hall Honorary Directors Award for 2020. This award was established to recognize a graduating member of the Residence Life student staff who has consistently demonstrated a commitment to the Office of Residence Life. Recipients are those who have been a positive role model to their peers supported the office through actions and involvement, have a true dedication to our mission and vision, and had an overall positive and lasting impact on the residence hall and greater William and Mary community. These individuals are leaders in the residence hall community and among their staff. They have demonstrated a commitment to building inclusive communities, fostering meaningful relationships, developing creative hall events, supporting hall governance and self-determination, and have excelled in the expectations of their role. This year's recipient has served residents' life in an exemplary way. 
His impact is best summed up by a resident on his hall. This resident shared, my RA has been very kind, welcoming, and approachable since the first day I moved into my building. He gets along with us so easily and naturally makes us feel like a part of the community. I greatly appreciate his humor, inclusiveness, and balance between being responsible and enforcing the rules and having fun through activities. His supervisor reports that he consistently works at a high level and approaches his work on staff and in his community with a sense of humor and fun. He consistently exceeds expectations and we are truly appreciative of his service to residents' life. Please join me in congratulating the recipient of our director's award, David Hill. Well done, David. Good evening. My name is Taylor Locks, and I'm the assistant director for Residence Life, and I have the privilege of serving as the advisor for the Residence Hall Association here at William & Mary. Tonight, I'll be presenting the Kenna Mills Student Service Award, which is the most prestigious individual award the Residence Hall Association confers each year. The award recognizes individual contribution and commitment to RHA. The award is named for Kenna Mills, a 1998 graduate who served as RHA president for two years and helped found the William & Mary National Residence Hall Honorary Chapter. This award recognizes outstanding contributions to residence life and RHA. This year's recipient is notable because of her dedication to residential community at William & Mary, has involved active participation in RHA and as a Residence Life student staff member. In each of her endeavors, this person has worked to improve the campus experience for others. This person catalyzes those around her to be better and consistently provides thoughtful feedback. Whether as a head resident or as a community council advisor, this individual strives to be kind, gracious, and intentional. As an active participant in RHA, this person provided the best standard of leadership and commitment, even in times when it was no longer required. Indeed, this year's recipient epitomizes selfless service and has furthered the mission of RHA to strengthen the residential communities at William & Mary. Please join me in congratulating Julia Inglesby as the 2020 Kenna Mills Award recipient. Congratulations and well-deserved. The Patriot Stream Veteran Scholarship is awarded to an undergraduate student who demonstrates and espouses the values of William & Mary. Selection is made based upon commitment to student excellence and the overall commitment to the William & Mary community. The scholarship is valued at $1,500. Our first recipient, Emily Adams, took on active roles in the veteran and campus communities as soon as she arrived, joining the student veterans of William & Mary and a sorority, even though she commutes to campus. A frequent visitor to veteran events, meetings, and even virtual office hours, Emily volunteered to help tell the student veteran story in a forthcoming video produced by University Marketing Advancement Communication, sharing her path from the Navy to the tribe, including challenges and great accomplishments. Our second recipient, Chuck Williamson, also took on a leadership role as soon as he got here, becoming the treasurer of the student veterans of William & Mary in his first year and serving as the veteran representative on the Cohen Career Center's Committee of Students. He also coordinates student veteran special projects like the Virginia War Memorial's Mighty Pen Project and faculty-led research. Before coming to Williamsburg, he served in the U.S. Army. I respectfully submit to you our 2020 Patriot Stream Scholarship recipients, Emily Adams and Chuck Williamson. Semper Fi and go Tribe! My name is Liz Cascone and I'm the director of The Haven. The Haven Bose Tucker Volunteer of the Year Award is presented to the student or students that have shown exemplary dedication to the mission of the Haven and who have provided leadership to their peers in serving as confidential advocates. Emily Pierce has been an exemplary Haven volunteer. Emily has provided leadership to the Haven by serving on the advisory board for two years, which meets regularly to manage over 35 volunteers who work in the Haven. Emily is a fantastic listener, quietly taking in all sides of a dilemma and offering her insights after thoughtful consideration. Emily is brilliant, kind, and an incredible advocate for her fellow students. To helping with the scheduling of volunteers, communicating with volunteers, 
covering shifts when volunteers have a conflict, meeting with volunteers in order to process visits and provide support, and helping to recruit and interview new volunteers for the next academic year, Emily is who I go to when I need backup, support, and advice. She is reliable to say the least and incredibly passionate about our work. And she's been the ultimate collaborator across campus with other student organizations and administrative committees. One example of this is Emily's leadership in reducing barriers to emergency contraception on campus for survivors. She identified multiple steps a survivor on campus had to take in order to access free emergency contraception at the Student Health Center. Emily worked with doctors on campus to revise the steps and streamline access to medically necessary medication. Emily used clear and succinct communication skills to convey the problem and presented a solution that did not burden the Student Health Center staff and alleviated unnecessary stress for students in a vulnerable state. This isn't an easy area to dedicate your time and energy to. It is selfless work and often painful work. Providing support to those who have experienced such personal trauma takes a unique individual who is compassionate, empathetic, has excellent boundaries, and knows campus and community-based resources. In providing support to her peers and in her leadership role with other volunteers, Emily is dedicated to a larger vision that promotes a community of caring that is at the core of William & Mary. You will be missed by countless students, and I certainly will miss you, but your talents and skills will be of great use to you as you pursue medical school at Duke University. Thank you for carrying the message, we believe you, to our student body. The Carol F.S. Hardy Trailblazer Award recognizes a graduating student who has used their academic and extracurricular pursuits to exhibit an appreciation and commitment to diversity. The recipient of this award is also an individual whose example has motivated other students to follow the model of achievement and service that they have set. For this award for the Center for Student Diversity, we chose Milka Moritz. I knew I wanted to honor Milka this year before she graduated, but I didn't know how. When deciding on the Carol F.S. Hardy Trailblazer Award, Dr. Wesley and I knew it had to go to Milka because Milka is the definition of a trailblazer. In the fall of 2018, Milka approached me at a PLUS reunion and said, I want to change the culture at William & Mary. She said it so nonchalantly as if we weren't at a party, but I knew she was serious. So we scheduled a time to meet, and from that moment, we created a year-long internship where she gathered testimonials about the experiences of students of color at William & Mary. And then together, we met with faculty and administrators to give a voice to the experiences of students on campus. I've had the opportunity to have a front row seat to her growth, and I am proud to be a part of her journey. Milka, thank you for stepping up and leaving a lasting impression on my life and the campus as a whole. The Ernestine Jackson Award for Cross-Cultural Understanding was created by then Vice President of Student Affairs, Sam Fadler, to recognize a student who has by their campus involvement, leadership, and spirit both promoted and contributed to building positive relationships between all members of the William & Mary community. This year, the Center for Student Diversity has decided to present this award to Emma Shanwald. I decided to look back at old emails to see when I first met Emma. She first emailed me back in 2017 about CSC resources, and then we formally met at a President's Council meeting. Our relationship over the years have been exchange of, hey, Shanae, can you facilitate this chat and chew for my org? Or, hey, Emma, can you sit in this panel and lead this workshop or show up to XYZ and just be your amazing self? We have worked on countless projects together chat and chew discussions, student diversity symposiums, and she even got me to pose for a photo shoot that she needed for her class. 
Emma has a way of connecting people and resources. And for that reason, we honor her with the Ernestine Jackson Award for Cross-Cultural Understanding. The Multicultural Leadership Award is presented annually to a graduating student who has shown a deep commitment to diversity and by their leadership has expanded cultural consciousness and appreciation within the college community. The Center for Student Diversity presents the award to Aida Campos. I first met Aida during her sophomore year, which was her first year at William & Mary. I was shocked to know that she was a transfer student, considering the immediate impact that she was making on campus with the newly formed student organization, Unzaku Tribe. She began working with me in the CSD during her senior year, and I got to know her and her interests better. To watch her passion for education, school, her classmates, and her family is admirable. I remember there being a time where she let me know that she was going to come in late for work because she was in Richmond at the General Assembly working, on, working to pass a bill. Of course I said yes. Aida is both a leader on campus and in the community at large. I am proud to present her with the Multicultural Leadership Award. Hello, my name is Joe Tai, Associate Director of Campus Recreation, and I'm here today to present the L. Tucker Jones Memorial Award. The L. Tucker Jones Memorial Award has been given to the senior student who best exemplifies the highest in ideals participation, sportsmanship, and dedication to campus recreation. Our award winner this year is Chloe Obara. Chloe started her career with campus recreation when she came out as a freshman in the spring of 2017 to be a scorekeeper for five on five basketball. She has officiated many of our team sports and by the fall of 2017, she was promoted to the position of intramural supervisor where she has either led or assisted in the training of our intramural soccer officials for the past three years. Chloe is being recognized not just for her exemplary work in the campus recreation department, but also for her participation in the program. During her four years, Chloe has played on 45 intramural teams in 11 team sports. She has played in 145 intramural games with a record of 109 wins, 33 losses, and three ties for a 75% winning percentage. Chloe has been a member of 10 third place teams five second place teams, and 12 championship teams since the fall of 2016. Chloe has also served as captain of club women's soccer green team for two years, and she remained committed to the team throughout her four years at William & Mary. Chloe was the first to, ev to every practice and the one to work the hardest. On and off the field, Chloe always had her teammates' backs. In addition, Chloe played club women's basketball, where her ability to lead and inspire the team was unmatched. Again, she worked exceptionally hard at practices and helped bring the team together. We know that Chloe's leadership and participation in the campus recreation program throughout her college career will lay the foundation for lifelong health and wellness. Her contributions to campus recreation and the community at large are remarkable and worthy of the L. Tucker Jones Award. Congratulations. Greetings. I'm Dave Gilbert, the Senior Associate Dean of Students, and it's my pleasure to recognize Kelsey Zizinski as this year's recipient of the A. Joseph J. Award for support of our community's values. Kelsey has served on the Honor Council for the Marshall Witt School of Law for the last three years, most recently as its chair. Kelsey has led the council with distinction. Not only has her council provided exceptional professional service in investigating and resolving cases, but she also has challenged the council to consider broader issues such as prevention and identifying and addressing areas of possible inequity for students from non-majority populations. This year, the Honor Council partnered with the Center for Student Diversity for the first time to provide training to her entire council on issues related to implicit bias. This training was so well received, the council is trying to expand it to the entire law school population next year, and it now considers this training an essential part of its agenda in years to come. 
Kelsey's focus on prevention has led to increased cooperation between the Honor Council and the Student Bar Association, leading to several unified prevention messages to students and enhanced information sharing. Kelsey also improved the Without a Doubt Worth Sharing program. This program solicits nominations of students, faculty, and staff from the law school to recognize acts of honor emblematic of our community's values. This year, the council instituted its first formal recognition ceremony, highlighting several individuals whose actions exemplify the spirit of the tribe. Typically, law students being the busy individuals they are, seldom have sufficient time to focus on more than the most pressing issues before them. However, that's not Kelsey. I'm pleased to honor her for her tireless service to the council and its members and her willingness to apply her energy to the planning and implementing of community development initiatives, recognizing the many acts of positive behavior in our community and investing in her council members. Her work will continue to provide dividends to the law school community for many years to come. Thank you, Kelsey, and congratulations, and I offer all my best wishes for your future. Hello, I'm AJ, and I'm honored to serve as a student assembly president. I'm here today to play a part in recognizing William Mary's students who have worked diligently to make William Mary a better place. In 1987, the Student Assembly created an award to honor 40 graduating students for outstanding leadership, service, and contribution. Since that time, over 1,300 graduating students have been recognized with this honor, formerly named the Benjamin Stoddard Ewell Award. This year, SA recognized a unique opportunity to update the award in order to align it with William & Mary's first official statement of values. In addition, it is a campaign priority for our SA administration to make proactive steps to ensure that buildings, awards, and other physical representations reflect all students. To that end, the Student Assembly is pleased to announce that the award has been updated and will henceforth be named after the cipher the primary mark identifying our university. The Cypher Award will honor individuals whose contributions reflect the primary values of the university. Belonging, curiosity, excellence, flourishing, integrity, respect, and service. This past year, I had the honor of co-chairing the committee that established the comprehensive institutional statement that includes William & Mary's vision, our mission, and our first ever official statement of values. It's exciting to see the Student Assembly incorporate these values into this most important award that recognizes so many of our graduates. They are creative thinkers, principled leaders, and compassionate global citizens equipped for lives of meaning and distinction. On the screen you see now the names of the 40 recipients of the 2020 Cypher Award. Recipients of the Cypher Award are stewards of our university's core values. These recipients were selected because of their exemplary engagement, their leadership, and their service, not only to William and Mary, but to the wider community and to the world. They have been unceasing in their efforts to make a meaningful difference during their time as students. The Student Assembly will be recognizing these individuals on social media platforms, and each recipient will be receiving their individual certificates their names will also be listed in the commencement program when we gather again in person in October. We celebrate our Cypher Award winners and thank them for all the ways that they have enriched our lives at William & Mary, and we thank them for being stewards of our university's core values. Thank you again for joining us for this special celebratory gathering. Leadership expert and author Terrence Deal once said, celebrations infuse life with passion and purpose. They summon the human spirit. I hope your spirit, like mine, has been lifted by celebrating the remarkable accomplishments of our students. Students, you are the heartbeat of our community and we miss you. We look forward to that day when we can celebrate and thank each of you in person. Until then, congratulations. You have made your alma mater very proud indeed.